system with the divisions of the Abishamal Amkara. Translated by Edward Conze. University of California Press Berkeley, Los Angeles, London. Translation of the Sutra. Chapter 30. The Advantages of Bearing in Mind and of Reverence. 6. Fairly Weak. Ananda. The Lord does not proclaim the name of the perfection of giving, nor of the perfection of morality, patience, vigor, and concentration, but only that of the perfection of wisdom. He does not proclaim the name of everything up to the eighteen special Buddha dharmas, but only that of the perfection of wisdom. The Lord. The perfection of wisdom controls the five perfections to the eighteen special Buddha dharmas. What do you think, Ananda, is a giving undedicated to all knowledge a perfect giving? Ananda. No indeed, O Lord. And so with morality, patience. Ananda. How, on the other hand, does a giving dedicated to all knowledge become a perfect giving? How does wisdom dedicated to all knowledge get the name of perfection of wisdom? The Lord. By way of non-duality, of non-production, of non-basis. The non-production and non-basis of what? By way. Of the non-duality of the standards, too. Of enlightenment. Ananda. How and in what way? The Lord. For here form is empty of form. And why? Because form and the perfections are not two or divided. And so for feeling, too. Enlightenment. Therefore, then, Ananda, just the perfection of wisdom controls these five perfections, too. She controls the knowledge of all modes. Just as gems, scattered about in the great earth, grow when all conditions are favorable. The great earth is their support, and they grow supported by the great earth. Even so, the five perfections grow supported by the perfection of wisdom and so do the four applications of mindfulness, too. The knowledge of all modes. Supported by the knowledge of all modes again do the five perfections grow, the applications of mindfulness, too. The eighteen special Buddha dharmas. Therefore, then, Ananda, the perfection of wisdom is the leader of these five perfection, too of the eighteen special Buddha dharmas. 6. Weekly Medium. Sakra. The Tathagata, O Lord, has not yet proclaimed all the qualities of the perfection of wisdom, qualities which a son or daughter of good family acquire when they learn this perfection of wisdom, bear it in min, peach and study it, and wisely attend to it. By the perfection of wisdom beings learned, too wisely attended to, there takes place in the world a manifestation of the ten wholesome paths of action, too. Of the Buddha Dharmas, of good warrior families, too. Of the Tathagatas. The Lord. These, I say, are not the only qualities gained through the perfection of wisdom. And why? Such sons and daughters of good family will be endowed with an immeasurable mass of morality, and they will not be lacking in the thought of the knowledge of all modes. They will be endowed with an immeasurable mass of concentration, wisdom, emancipation, and vision and cognition of emancipation, if they will take up this perfection of wisdom, study it, bear it in mind, recite it and attend to it wisely, and they will not be lacking in the thought of the knowledge of all modes. As progressing in the direction of the Tathagata should those sons or daughters of good family be known, who will take up this perfection of wisdom and are not lacking in the thought of the knowledge of all modes. If we compare Kausika, the mass of morality, of concentration, of wisdom, the mass of emancipation and the mass of the cognition and vision of emancipation of all disciples and Pratyika Buddhas with the mass of morality of these sons or daughters of good family, then that of all disciples and Pratyika Buddhas does not approach one hundredth part, too. It does not bear comparison. And why? Because those whose thought has been set free on the level of the disciples and Pratyika Buddhas do not understand any Dharma. 
of the sons and daughters of good family, who, having written this perfection of wisdom, will take it up, too. Wisely attend to it. And will honor. Revere. Adore. And worship it with flowers. Incense. Scents. Wreaths. Ungents, rags, parasols, banners, bells, and manifold musical instruments, of those sons or daughters of good family I also just so preach the qualities, relating to this and to the next life. 6. Moderately medium. Sacra. I also, O Lord, will constantly arrange for the shelter, defense, and protection of that son or daughter of good family who will take up this perfection of wisdom, to manifold musical instruments. The Lord. When again this son or daughter of good family will joyfully approach in order to hear the Dharma. Then the gods will think that of that son, who demonstrates the Dharma associated with the perfection of wisdom, the readiness of speech should be brought out. But when the Dharma preachers are not willing to gratify them, the gods will think that by means of just that respect for Dharma their readiness of speech should be brought about. Also this quality, belonging to this very life, will that son gain who will take up this perfection of wisdom, too. Manifold musical instruments. And again, Kausika, that son, who preaches this perfection of wisdom, will not feel any despondency in front of the assemblies, from fear that someone will censure or reprove him. And why? Because this perfection of wisdom will arrange for his shelter, defense, and protection. And why? because in this perfection of wisdom all dharmas, worldly and supramundane, with and without outflows, common and uncommon, wholesome and unwholesome, conditioned and unconditioned, disciple dharmas, pratyika buddha dharmas, and buddha dharmas. And why? Because this is the statute of all wholesome dharmas. And that son, established in subjective emptiness, does not review, in the perfection of wisdom, the reproving, or him who would reprove, and also that perfection of wisdom he does not review. Thus certainly no one will reprove that son or daughter of good family, because they are upheld by the perfection of wisdom. And again, Kausika, the thought of that son or daughter of good family who takes up this perfection of wisdom, too wisely attends to it, will not become cowed or despondent, will not tremble, be frightened, or terrified. And why? Because they do not review an entity which could make them cowed or despondent, frightened or terrified. Those qualities belonging to this very life will those gain who take up this perfection of wisdom, too, will attend to it wisely. How much more so if they will, having copied it, honor it, too. Manifold musical instruments. 6. Strongly medium. And again, Kausika, this son, who will take up this perfection of wisdom, too. Musical instruments, he will be dear to his mother and father, to friends, shramanas and brahmanas. And he will also be dear and pleasing to the Buddhas. The lords in the world systems in the ten directions. To the bodhisattvas. The great beings to the Pratyika Buddhas, the Arhats, the never-returners, the once-returners and stream-winners, and to the world with its gods, with its maras, with its brahmas, this world with its shramanas and brahmanas, with gods, men, and asuras. 6. Weakly strong. His inspiration will be unbroken. Unbroken will be to him the perfection of giving, too. The perfection of wisdom, the development of the subjective, emptiness, of the four applications of mindfulness, too. The Buddha dharmas, of his concentrations, of the dharanis, of the supernologies. Unbroken will be his maturing, the perfect purity of his Buddha field, too. The knowledge of all modes. And he will be competent, in accordance with dharma to get out of the counter questions which may be put to him. Also these qualities belonging to this and the next life are acquired by someone who will take up this perfection of wisdom, and he will not be lacking in the dwelling in the knowledge of all modes when, having copied it out, he will honor it too. 
and worship it with flowers. 6. Medium strong. Moreover, when a son or daughter of good family has made this perfection of wisdom into a written book, and bears it in mind, recites and studies it, then those among the gods of the four great kings who have set out for full enlightenment will come to that place will learn this perfection of wisdom, bear it in mind, recite and study it, pay homage to it, salute it respectfully, and then they will depart again. And so will all the gods, up to the highest gods. And those Mahabrahma gods who have made a vow to win the supreme enlightenment will come there. Learn, study, bear in mind, recite and respectfully salute this perfection of wisdom, and then they will depart again. And so with the gods, from the gods of the pure abode to the highest gods. And that son or daughter of good family should wish that all the gods in the world systems in all the ten directions, who have set out for fully enlightenment, as well as other gods, Nagas, Yakshas, Gandharvas, Asuras, Garudas, Kanaras, and Mahoragas should, after having come there and learned, too, Worship this perfection of wisdom, come there again and receive this gift of Dharma. And those gods in all the world systems in all the ten directions who have set out for the supreme enlightenment will come there, will learn this perfection of wisdom, too. Worship it, and will then depart again. And all these gods will arrange shelter, defense, and protection for that son or daughter of good family. Nor will anyone who looks for entry or seeks for entry gain entry to him, except as a karmic punishment for past deeds. This is another quality which that son or daughter of good family gains in this very life. And why? Because those gods who have set out for the supreme enlightenment will decide to come there. That is to say those gods who have set out for the supreme enlightenment out of concern for the protection of all beings, for their welfare and happiness. 6. Strongly strong. Sacra. How, O oh Lord, can one know that gods from the ten directions have come to that place to learn this perfection of wisdom, to worship it? The Lord. When one perceives a sublime radiance then one should know for certain that very powerful deities have come there to recite this perfection of wisdom, to pay homage to it. And likewise when one smells a superhuman and heavenly odor, not smelled before. Furthermore, clean and pure habits will attract those gods to come learn, this perfection of wisdom, and will enrapture them. But those deities of minor power, who had before occupied that place, they will decide to leave it, for they cannot endure the majesty and splendor of those very powerful gods. And as often as those very powerful gods approach, so those sons and daughters of good family will be much confirmed in their faith. And in that place one should not form any unclean or impure habits. And it should be adorned with flowers. Incense, perfumes, garlands, ointments, aromatic powders, strips of cloth, perfumes, garlands, ointments, aromatic powders, strips of cloth, parasols, banners, and flags. It should be overstrewn with sweet-smelling, loose flowers. Garlands and bundles of strips should be suspended, and an awning should be erected. In many ways therefore should this place be adorned. Moreover, the body of that son or daughter of good family will not get tired. On the contrary it will be at ease and achieve lightness for the sake of the happiness of many people. And that son or daughter of good family will know lightness, flexibility, and ease in both body and thought. At ease he sleeps at night. When intent on this perfection of wisdom he will see no evil dreams. When he sees anything in his dreams, it will be the Tathagatas, the golden-colored bodies embellished with the thirty-two marks of a superman, surrounded by a community of monks and a host of bodhisattvas, demonstrating Dharma. And he will hear them talking about the six perfections, the thirty-seven wings to enlightenment, too. 
the 18 special dharmas of a Buddha, and he will hear the meaning of those perfections, too, of the 18 special dharmas of a Buddha, and he will see the tree of enlightenment. As well as the Bodhisattva as he approaches the terrace of enlightenment, as he fully knows the supreme enlightenment and as thereafter he turns the wheel of Dharma. And he will see countless beings who are delighted by the chorus which chants the Dharma and which proclaims how all knowledge should be gained, how beings should be matured and how the Buddha field should be purified. He hears the sound of the voice of innumerable Buddhas, in the East and in the other directions. He knows that in this world system, under that name this Tathagata, surrounded and accompanied by so many millions of bodhisattvas and disciples, demonstrates Dharma. In the East, he will see innumerable Buddhas who enter Paranirvana, and will also see the countless stupas of those Tathagatas, which contain their relics and are made of many precious things and he will honor, revere, and worship those stupas, with flowers, in this way that son or daughter of good family will see auspicious dreams. At ease he will sleep, at ease he will wake up. Even when food is thrown into it, his body will feel light and not at all heavy. Just as a monk who practices yoga, who has emerged from trance and who has been replenished by his mental work, has no strong desire for food, so also that son or daughter of good family. And why? Because his body has been nourished with superhuman food and also the Buddhas and Lords in the Ten Directions, as well as the gods, Nagas, too. Mahoragas will provide his body with food. This is another quality which in this very life a son or daughter of good family will acquire if they learn this perfection of wisdom, too. Wisely attend to it, and if they are not devoid of the thought of all knowledge. 6. Strong one aims at the welfare of others. If someone has not learned this perfection of wisdom, too, has not wisely attended to it, nor revealed it to others, but has nevertheless copied it out honors, reveres, and worships the book, with flowers. And if someone else were to learn this perfection of wisdom, recite and study it, and wisely attend to it, would reveal it to others, and would honor, revere, and worship, with flowers, a written copy of it then the latter would on that account beget the greater merit. And his merit would be greater also than that of those who would honor, revere and worship the Tathagatas in all the world systems in all the ten directions all around, together with their communities of disciples, and furnish them with robes and who would erect stupas, made of the seven precious things, for those Tathagatas who have gone to Paranirvana, together with their communities of disciples, and would honor these stupas, too. Worship them with flowers. End chapter 30. Dot. 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 Note. Buddhists may get more benefit from listening to the sutras actively by reading along with a peaceful voice, and walking on a treadmill very slowly to avoid drowsiness. Keep this in mind. Wishing or dreaming to do the goodness is the first steps of doing good, it does not matter one can do it or not. It is the same for wishing to become a Buddha. Bodhisattvas are those people who vow to gain enlightenment in order to bring about unchanging happiness for all living beings.